كنافه 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 اهلا وسهلا اهلا وسهلا اهلا وسهلا مع البلا ابو 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 حبيب ابو حبيب ابو حبيب YouTube channel. I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, firstly, I would just want to wish everyone uh, Eid Mubarak, and um, I hope everyone who's just celebrating around the world uh, a happy Eid. And just make sure that whoever is celebrating Eid with the families, just make most of the time you're just spending out with your family, because everyone is not able to spend the time with their family because of the ongoing COVID and the pandemic. But just make sure whatever time you spend with your family, just make most out of the time you're spending with them. And uh, just thank Almighty for all the things you are experiencing with your family. I'm talking in terms of the happiness. And uh, I wish this pandemic finishes soon and everyone gets to meet their families and uh, spend the time as we all want to. But apart from that, uh, with this Eid, I wasn't doing much just because uh, Hatip is not here and Shabir uh was working so we just went for prayers came back home but i would just want to make this vlog much more interesting by showcasing you the street food which we experienced during the ramadan fastings in lekemba so lekemba is the place where we get the street food the night markets uh, though it wasn't as crowded as it used to be before the pandemic because uh, we used to have this huge stalls of food arranged all over the streets but this time it wasn't the same because of the pandemic but still we had a huge amount of crowd and a lot of people came over from different parts of Sydney to experience this food festival which is arranged in Lekemba every year. So without any further ado, I'll just show you around the street food in Lekemba. I hope you're gonna like this vlog because this is completely uh, different sorts of street food available out in Lekemba, different cuisines and different food. So just make sure to share my content and like it and subscribe to my channel that's more important because i would feel that if you're subscribing to my channel i would feel that you're liking my content and um, i would keep posting more stuff going forward अब की कमी जरा है हर चीज खास है अब है जो है वो समा है तुम रह सकी तो रबा है अब है जो है वो समा है तुम रह सके ऐसी जीत अब चाहे जिंदगी ऐसी जीत अब चाहे जिंदगी है सजा है हम हैं बाजारों के सब की नजर यहाँ है हर चीज राज है अब है जो है वो समा है तुम रह सके तो रबा है अब है जो है वो समा है तुम रह सके ऐसी जीत अब चाहे जिंदगी ऐसी जीत अब चाहे जिंदगी that's uh, cheese kunafi, like Syrian sweet, and they made of uh, sumolina and the cheese, and this is like uh, like Middle East and special like from Syria. And uh, here you go, uh, old. Let you know how it is actually. Does actually good. 
स्वीट नॉट दैट स्वीट ज़्यादा स्वीट नहीं है दिस इज एक्चुअली गुड अ बेट ऑफ चीज इन एट ऑफ सेमोलिना दैट्स वॉट इट्स मेड अप ऑफ एंड एज द गाई टोल दिस इज अ डिश विच इज फेमस फ्रॉम सीरिया we get this a lot out here especially the lebanese people have it a lot and this is something i've had it in the past and this is something which is not that sweet and really good and uh, really bit light hai zindagi aise je tab chahe zindagi hai बहकी सभी जुबा है हम हैं हजारों में अब अब है है जो है वो समा है तुम रह सकी तो रबा है अब है जो है वो समा है में अब की कमी जरा है हर चीज खास है अब है जो है वो समा है तुम रह सकी Uh, Shabir had to literally wait for 30 minutes. Shabir, he had to literally wait 30 minutes in the line to check the take this out. This is a crispy chicken from uh, Express Chicken, I guess. I'm not sure about the name. So we. This is really good, but it's a bit oily and uh, a bit. Since it's deep fried, it's a bit oily, but it's tasty because we've taken the spicy one. It is actually good. There is the normal one and the spicy one. The original one and the spicy. We've taken the spicy one. We've got like five pieces in this. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna finish this, but it tastes good because it's spicy one. Uh, you've also got the normal one. This is for around twelve dollars. Next thing we've taken is the chicken tikka kebab with the naan, the naan bread, and uh, then you get this yogurt along with it, and then you get uh, chutney along with it, and they've got some onions and some cucumbers. So let's just try out the chicken tikka without the naan first. So the tikka is really good, soft, not spicy, very good tender, and it's got a lot of flavors. Honestly, and this platter costs us around how much? Thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars. This platter costs us. With a naan, you get a naan with the tikka. So let's just try this out. I'll put one small piece of the tikka in this one, and I'm just gonna taste. It really tastes good with the naan, and then you've got any the yogurt or any sort of uh, this is I guess mint. So you can try it out with this. These are the first things which we are trying out at this Lekemba night markets. Let's just try out the other stuff. So guys, uh, this is an interesting thing which me and Shabi got at this uh, Ramzan festival out here in Lekemba. This is something which we haven't tried before, or uh, this is something which is new. This is a camel burger, which is quite famous out here in uh, the Lekemba street market out here, which is conducted during the Ramzan. Uh, I haven't tried this last year. Atif was here last year. He tried it out, so I'm here to check this out. and taste the camel meat i haven't tried it ever before just check it out i'll just show you what's there inside it 
It's just a simple burger. It's just got this uh, a patty of uh, camel meat along with a slice of uh, the cheese with some uh, lettuce and uh, that's it. I guess they've got just a basic salt and pepper into it. I'm just gonna try this out and just check it out. It's just $10 and uh, last time Adif told me it was good. I'm just gonna try and let you know how it is. I'm just gonna take a small bite because I'm scared of the camel meat. I haven't tried it before. This is actually a normal, I don't feel like I'm having a camel meat. This tastes okay. Uh, I wouldn't say it's bad, it's good, but I don't feel the difference between the chicken burger and the camel burger. Uh, maybe I should take another bite and then probably I'll realize the difference. I'll just try it out again. I like it actually. Is it salty? The burger is really good because you get that crispiness and the crunchiness of the lettuce inside it and uh, the patty is actually fresh. It's actually uh, tastes a bit like lamb honestly or probably my taste buds are really bad probably I'm not able to figure out the difference between the lamb and the camel burger. Uh, yeah it is actually good and I'm really impressed because I thought like last year I didn't try it but this year I have tried it out. I wanted to check how good it is and what exactly it tastes like but it's actually good. So this is the camel burger. To end it all the dishes we've tried today i'm just ending this with this beautiful dish which we normally have a lot when we are this is a beautiful dish which we have always in ramzan uh, this is actually called a halim so this is actually minced mutton uh, or minced chicken whatever you might call it you have a chicken halim and a mutton halim uh, this i believe is a mutton halim is it mutton or chicken mutton halim. yeah this is a mutton halim you that's a lamb uh, so Basically, you have a minced lamb and you have a lot of dry fruits in it and you have other stuff uh, I guess some sort of wheat flour or something. I'm not exactly sure But this is something which is cooked for a long time nearly 8 to 10 hours if I'm not wrong They started in the morning and it gets ready around 3 p.m. in the afternoon And that's when they start serving it. This is quite famous back in Hyderabad. A lot of people have it uh, It's available in Pakistan. It's available in Bangladesh, but then the one they have it is quite different but the one this we have it is quite different so this is actually quite thick not uh, the kind of one where we have uh, back in Pakistan or Bangladesh I've tried them too where it's a bit like a kind of a gravy with people have it with naan this is something we have generally without a naan or anything because this is something you have it individually uh, you have a bit of fried onions on top and then you have a bit of coriander and mint and some lemon to squeeze on top and then you have a bit of uh, added extra flavored oil or whatever you can call it on top of it so and you can also see some sort of dry fruits I guess they're crushed cashews so I'm just gonna taste this if you haven't tasted this before do try this one out you can get this at Pista House in Lakemba or you can get this in uh, Pista House in Wentworth where you, you get it at a lot of different places this is really good stuff I've been having it for throughout Ramzan almost every alternate day and Shabi loves it too I love it too it's a bit heavy on your stomach I'll just try it out yeah that's the key not the oil yes yeah. you can add I'll as just, much as you want it. Like I said, we, it's really good. It just melts in your mouth. That's how soft it is. And to the guys who feel it might be spicy, it's not actually spicy. Uh, you might fi feel a bit of added flavors in it because it's got a lot of flavors in it. But it's really soft and it's really light on your stomach. But after a bit of, uh, I would say if you have half of the cup, you might feel a bit heavy just because it's got minced meat and then you've got like added dry fruits and other stuff but this is really good stuff it just melts in your mouth that's how soft and tender the meat is and it's a high protein hmm that's another thing that's an added high protein a lot of people do have it especially in Ramzan you actually get this dish only during Ramzan at most of the places they don't sell it throughout the year because it's a long process to cook this dish and it takes a lot of time to cook it that's the reason people don't sell it throughout the year but during Ramzan it's the highest selling dish I would say after biryani and all that stuff I would say that if you haven't tried this out you've just got two more days for Ramzan just come up to Pista House like Embar Wentworth where you can try this out it's a really good dish it's like $16 for the whole cup I, I guess two people can have it if you are someone who can have a good enough if you have a good enough diet two people can have this whole box so I'll just take one more bite just melt in your mouth that's how good it is I won't say anything more than that so guys, the last thing me and Shabir are gonna try is 
It's just a cup of tea. Finally. It's, it's not a cup of tea. It's not a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> it's an emotion. As I just said, this is the last thing which you need to have. The hot and piping. Rani chai, you get this tea light on your stomach. Basically, if you had a lot of food like we had today, a lot of oily and greasy stuff. So this is a good thing to make sure you wash down your stomach and just make sure it's a pretty light on your stomach.